This week on Archer's Choice. Well, guess what? We are staying home. We're gonna hunt Illinois whitetails. We got some friends coming in. We got the farmers helping out. I mean, it's like a family affair. He's a big fan. What do you say? We let the beam and fly. Wait, get him where it hurts. This is a beautiful bear. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. And this week, well, guess what? We are staying home. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna hunt Illinois whitetails late season. We got some friends coming in. We got the farmers helping out. I mean, it's like a family affair. It is. We've got a lot going on. We've got Ben and Pete and you and I. We're just having fun That's on it. a whitetail deer season right here, back home in Illinois. Okay, being here in the Midwest, it's farm country. Farm country beyond farm country. Soybean. Corn. Corn. I mean. We, I mean, it's just. Winter lost. wheat, yep. It's just, that's what we do. It is. Not that's, that's what some do. Yeah, that's not what we do. No, we're not no, farmers. We're not we wouldn't farmers. grow anything. No. But having Ben on our side is a big plus. It is. Here's a young farmer, you know, raising his family, you know, uh, which is really cool. Second generation, maybe third, I'm not really sure, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But of, of doing you know, understanding land management. So thank goodness that Ben has all the knowledge and experience that we sort of lack. We try to learn it all, but boy, it's hard. You know, and I mean, when they do it on a day-to-day -day basis, they really know way more than we do. Yeah, he does, for yep. sure. Hey, this is uh, first week of October here in Northwest Illinois. I'm hunting with Ralph and Vicky. Um, the Archer's Choice Media. We're sitting over at Beanfield. It's been really hot the last week, but last night we had a cold front coming in. 20 mile an hour winds out of the northwest, temperature in the 30s. And it's a little after 3 o'clock. We've already had a uh, couple small bugs and a doe out in the field just, just after we got here. So we're looking forward to see what's going to happen. So thank goodness that Ben has all the knowledge and experience that we sort of lack. We try to learn it all, but boy, it's hard, you know? And I mean, when they do it on a day-to-day -day basis, 
they really know way more than we do. Yeah, he does for yep. sure. So now, not only is he a farmer and he knows how to do all the tractor stuff, yep. but now he's got this whitetail bug. And oh, he he's wants, bit bad. He, we, we had a couple guys go out and film him a couple times, and then there's opportunities where we couldn't have anyone go. No. So he's like, I'm gonna film myself, and that's what he did. Where we are, we are in a rut. Just a rut, central, just stinky rut spot down here in this big ditch. So no telling what's gonna come running through here. And uh, we'll shoot the first, first big body deer that does. So we'll see what happens. Boy, that wind sure is cold. something coming over to my left. It's definitely that eight I'm after. He's a good pup. He's set checking these toes. If he keeps pushing them this way, he's gonna give me a pretty good shot opportunity. Okay, it looks like he's gonna, yeah, he's coming this way. I guess Tucker uh, put an arrow in that pretty good eight-pointer I've been after. We are look at it, man. What pretty tight quarters and eater and check it out. All right. He comes in off my left right here. He comes in here pushing this doe. Shot him. It definitely was in that back half. Yeah, it's definitely back. I think uh, leave him lay up overnight. He'll be right in that area. You you seen him bedded and got out of there and he stayed there. He should be right as far there. As, like I morning, as, as far right as I know. As far as I know. To it. Yeah. That's, as far as I know. Doing a buck recovery this morning of a buck I hit last night, and we found him. Almost totally submerged in the creek. I had no way to get out of the stand without bumping him, so I had to play this very carefully. So, and I knew I hit him back. I watched the footage, I knew I hit him back, and uh, so that's what I did. I waited till dark until I couldn't wait anymore. He didn't go too far because we found him in the creek <laughs> about right where I thought he'd be too. I'm just ecstatic. He's a mature buck. What do you think Dave? About 250? I don't know. That's a massive body on that. He's huge. Deer. Not one for the record books or one for the score tapers, but he's a good big mature buck. That's good enough for me. Had him on camera for about three years now. He's done literally nothing in the growth department. Nice frosty November morning. Hopefully we didn't sp spook any bucks to the neighbors. <laughs>
patience is not my virtue. I should have waited. I shouldn't have taken a quartering two shot. And I totally missed him. My arrow's right there. There's nothing. There's no blood on the snow. You want it so bad. And then you mess up. Patience, speaking patience. now we are on our way to go retrieve the buck that I shot last night. I saw him bed down so I got out of the stand and take the night off and go look again the next day. It's kind of what I was afraid of, a little bit of guts on that arrow. Uh, glad I let him sit overnight. Didn't push it. That's what you ought to do when you hit a deer not so good. Just got to bag out and wait. On the left. <gasps> yes. Right there. My second tag shooter sitting right there. One of those deer that nobody can kill. Got him with a bow and arrow the day before the second gun season. Get some. Oh my god. Oh! He's a little stiff. This deer is heavy. <laughs> Broke part of his beam off there. Who is fighting him to break that beam off? <laughs> wow. Look at that head. Look at that head and that face. I can't believe I'm sitting here with this buck right now. All the pictures, all the velvet pictures. And like I said, I've never seen him on the hoof before, never. Got tags for days. <laughs> Gotta text my best friend, Dave Munch. He taught me everything I know. Probably wouldn't be here without Dave and, and my friend Tim, who uh, <laughs> just taught me everything I know. And it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's cool to have the relationship with him that I do. I cherish it. Back in Northwest Illinois. Um, it's the end of November. Got a lot of snow in the ground. We're in this transition zone between two soybean fields. We're hoping the deer are going to funnel through here on the way to soybeans this evening, and I can finally get an arrow at an Illinois whitetail. Come this way, come this way, this is 30. 
hope for me. I got that dead lamb in my way. You good? <sighs> right over his back. God, there he is. That's my buck. Look at that buck. Look at that. Oh, God. That, that is my biggest bow kill ever. And I'm from South Carolina. We just don't get deer this big as in South Carolina. Golly. That is just, that is insane. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for this day and I thank you so much for the privilege to enjoy your creation and to get to hunt and to, and to do it safely. We thank you for this beautiful animal that you have given to me. We thank you for the meat he's going to provide our family and, and the lifelong memories of this hunt with Chad. And I just thank you so much for it, Lord. And just uh, thank you for Ralph and Vicki allowing me to hunt with them and to, and to do all this with them. We just give you all the praise for them in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Amen. I'm going to tie this up so we are fully legit and legal. Buck, 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 buck. And then I looked at the dog and I said, I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> I, mean, it was no, I didn't think twice about it. I was, I'm going to shoot him if he gets in range. And, and, uh, he, and you shot, but you missed. Right over his back. <laughs> Broadside at 32 didn't yards. Didn't we just I don't have know. this conversation about ranging? I thought you said, well, I'm gonna, I'll take him at 50 if I need it. I, I don't know. I mean, I, what, <laughs> what, what do you see the video? I was that far over his back. I, mean, I was like, like this. way Woo! over his back. Let me tell you something. Now, now here's what's But my funny. heart was jumping too now, I gotta say. <laughs> What can you say? That's what it's all about. To have family and friends, have success. Give, you know, give thanks to friends and mentors that have helped along the way. Absolutely. Ben, Pete, congratulations, guys. Here's the bottom line. Go out and hunt. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy it. Man, Every if it trips your trigger, it. shoot it. Yes. Don't hesitate. Don't, Don't worry about what someone's going to no. say on social media. Screw it, man. Go have a good time. Enjoy life and every moment you have in it because it's short. If arrows ain't flying, there ain't nothing dying. We hope you enjoyed this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. You know, and me eating tag soup again. Vic, we talk about this almost every year. We do. We need you to stay out of the office and hunt. I can't stay out of the office for the company to run. Someone has to be in the office doing paperwork.